Idioms, how do they work? So, my friend and I were chatting the other day. I, being a new father, sent him a picture of my clothesline completely full of my daughter's diapers. Then this dialogue happened. My friend, whoa, babies are really poop factories. Me, no shit. Now, at that point, the chat spiraled out to a discussion on how wrong I was on using no shit on poop factory. Words such as complete opposite and idioms, idiot were uttered. I pointed my friend at the definition at the freeadictionary.com definition. No shit, rude, something is very surprising and hard to believe he's coming here tonight. No shit. The truth this is no shit, we're going to have the money for you tomorrow. He wouldn't have it. So, I turned to Alu as final arbiter. Was my response above correct or not? Edit, after accepting the answer below, I noticed that this question could use a better title. If you have a better idea on what should this question be titled, please edit it and remove this paragraph. Correct and appropriate. Additionally no shit Sherlock equals you are stating the obvious. Which according to Wiktionary breaks down into. No shit, an expression of amazement, plus Sherlock, a fictional detective who makes ingenious deductions. As was already mentioned, no shit does in fact mean yes, exactly. What is even better it's how you successfully managed to have the words no shit actually mean yes, a lot of shit. Whether you intended such a clever play on words or not you are indeed correct. I shit you not. Mwangjin has explained one sense in which your response was appropriate. There is another too, though it does involve inserting a comma into your original formulation. No, shit. Or perhaps, even more appropriately, given the topic, a colon. No, shit. You would say this if you felt that shit was a more suitable word than poop to describe your child's excreta, for instance, because you are the type of person who believes in calling a spade a spade rather than a digging implement. It also puns rather pleasingly on the idiom that Mplungeon described. It was